In this video, I will show you discoveries that you definitely weren't told about in school. A shocking discovery at the bottom of a mine, a fossilized book millions of years old, and an ancient Roman phallus with wings. How are the Nazis connected to the ships of Caligula, and why do they need a sword almost 5 meters long? about these archaeological discoveries and more. Watch this video. Hi friend, you are on the Cure Top channel. 2000 Seal Impressions Archaeologists have discovered in Dolia in Turkey an ancient archive with more than 2,000 seals for sealing documents. Dolihi was an important city of the Roman and Byzantine eras in northern Syria and was famous for its religious diversity. The seals depict deities important to the city including Jupiter Dolichenos. According to scientists, this discovery provides the key to understanding the religious life of the ancient inhabitants. The remains of the archive are a massive structure made of limestone blocks, indicating the presence of several floors. Petrified Book Archaeologists from Australia have stumbled upon a mysterious book-shaped artifact estimated to be more than 330 million years old. Yes, I know that not everyone likes it when I talk about thousands and millions of years. Therefore, this discovery caused a lot of controversy and speculation among scientists. Thomas Kaminsky, an antiquities researcher, claims that they found a mineralized book with a metal binding, but it is no longer possible to read it. Archaeology professor Jane Ballam was also amazed by the find, although she expressed doubts about its antiquity. Other experts marvel at how the book's pages have survived for millions of years. Geology professor Ian Plymer explains that under certain conditions, in an oxygen-free environment and under pressure, paper can petrify. Kaminsky believes that the depth at which the book was found indicates its authenticity. However, the question remains as to why the book looks like a modern copy. Could this be an artifact left behind by a time traveler? Matriarchy in Crete Scholars studying the Minoan civilization have noted that in Crete, women were portrayed as strong and influential, in contrast to men. This may indicate matriarchy in their society. The Minoans who lived on Crete were noted for their advanced art and trade, as well as the expansion of women's rights in the Bronze Age. Professor John Younger of the University of Kansas noted that women in Minoan frescoes and pottery are depicted in luxurious clothing and jewelry, while men are presented in a simpler form. Please note that now women generally also look more attractive than men. Minoan women actively participated in social events and religious rituals, which distinguishes them from traditional domestic roles. Scientists suggest that the worship of the goddess in Crete could be evidence of matriarchy. The figurines of the snake goddess and the fresco Women in Blue confirm the important role of women in Minoan culture. The presence of pools in the central places of the palaces shows that women were treated adequately during menstruation, unlike other ancient peoples. Ancient Curse Tablets At the bottom of a 2,500-year-old well in the Karamakos district of Athens, archaeologists have discovered 30 ancient curses engraved on lead tablets. With the help of text on tablets, people in ancient times called upon the gods of the underworld to harm other people. These curses were ritual texts, usually scratched into small lead objects. The ancient Greeks were known to engrave curses on tablets and place them in wells or graves to curse someone with whom they had a serious disagreement. At a certain time in Athens, it was forbidden to place curse tablets into graves, but villains came up with a strategy to secretly throw their curses into wells. In the well, archaeologists discovered many artifacts and water vessels, as well as coins and food remains. Since water, especially drinking water, was considered sacred, it was believed that every well had a nymph who protected the water, and angering this nymph could have serious consequences. Therefore, small vessels of liquids and other gifts were thrown into the well to please these emotionally unstable deities. A unique product in the capital of the ancient kingdom Archaeologists in the ancient city of Atusa, the capital of the Hittite kingdom, discovered a unique object decorated with ivory, about 2,800 years old. The discovery was made near the Turkish village of Bogazkal, where archaeological excavations have continued for more than 100 years, often leading to the discovery of ancient artifacts. The found artifact made of ivory measures approximately 30 centimeters in length and 10 centimeters in width. It stands out for its grace and includes images of a sphinx, a lion, and the so-called trees of life. 
It is believed that this item was used as a decoration for a wooden box or furniture. The artifact is broken on both sides, but the upper and lower parts are preserved in their original form, which suggests that it was originally longer. This discovery provides new insight into the artistic and cultural aspects of the Hittite kingdom and provides insight into the skill and talent of ancient artisans. Extremely Rare Coin Archaeologists from the Hebrew University have discovered the remains of a building from the Second Temple period, destroyed in 70 AD in the Ophel neighborhood of Jerusalem. Numerous Jewish coins from the Great Revolt were discovered at the site, including a rare silver half-shekel coin dated approximately 69 seventieths. The Great Revolt was a response to increasing religious pressure and heavy taxes from Rome, which led to a massive uprising of the Jewish population. The rebels overran the Roman garrison, forcing the pro-Roman king Herod Agrippa II to flee the city. During the Great Revolt, Jews minted coins with the image of a cup and inscriptions in Hebrew. The minting of silver coins was a political statement and a symbol of the desire for national liberation from Roman rule. Half-shekel coins were used to pay the annual temple tax. Ancient Roman Phallus with Wings in Serbia, in the east of the country, archaeologists stumbled upon an unusual Roman artifact. The find is a tintinabulum wind bell decorated with a phallus. This artifact, discovered on the porch of a house in the ancient city of Viminatium, is one of the rare and valuable monuments of Roman history. Tintinabulums were traditionally hung near doors as magical protection for homes and shops. The artifact found was the second of its kind in the ruins of Viminatium, and its peculiarity is that it was completely preserved. Made from bronze, the Tintinabulum is now preserved in the ground. Its unique configuration includes a magical phallus with wings, legs, and a tail known as a fascinum. The symbol of the phallus in Roman culture was associated not only with eroticism, but also with good luck, was considered a powerful amulet against the evil eye, and was used to attract prosperity and protection from thieves. Tintinabulums are part of the apotropaic amulets, which were intended to ward off evil forces and provide protection. Such objects were widespread in the Roman world and could take the most unexpected forms. Ivory Dice Archaeologists from India discovered unique rectangular ivory dice at an excavation site in Kijati, Sivaganga district. These dice served as a source of entertainment for the upper class of society in ancient times. This is the first time that a rectangular dice has been discovered at Kijati, while cubic dice were found during previous excavations. Archaeologists from Tamil Nadu clarified that the dice was found at a depth of 30, 40 centimeters. Its dimensions are 4.5 centimeters in length, 0.9 centimeters in height, and 0.9 centimeters in thickness. On the four sides of the dice, there are signs indicating the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. In Tamil literature, this dice is known as Pagadaikai, which means four-sided dice. Radiocarbon dating of coal discovered at Kijadi in 2017 showed that there had been a settlement here since 200 BC, proving that urban civilization existed in Tamil Nadu as early as the Sangam era. Giant Sword from Japan Japan has a unique sword that is believed to have been forged during the Edo period. Measuring 465 centimeters in length and weighing 75 kilogram, it is recognized as the largest Japanese sword in the country. This sword was donated to the Haneoka Hachiman Shrine in 1859 during a ceremony honoring the Imperial Monument by admirers who shared the views of Imperial patriots like Yoshida Shoin. The sword was forged with the hope that it would ward off evil and demons and help create a bright, clean, and peaceful society. The sword is kept in the treasury of Haneoka Hachiman Shrine and is not usually on public display. However, it can be seen accompanied by a special guide by appointment. Medieval Game Item In Bedfordshire, England, archaeologists have discovered a game piece from the Middle Ages. This object, about 6 centimeters in diameter, is made from the lower jaw of a livestock. Its front side is decorated with concentric circles and a ring and dot design. These types of tiles were used in board games where players rolled dice and moved the tiles along the marks. Such a game was popular among the Romans and was called Ludus Duodecim Scriptorium. The term tablet comes from the Latin tabula, which means board. 
Archaeologists note that it is difficult to determine which game the found chips belong to due to the lack of preserved game boards. But the connection with the site and the style of decoration suggests that the piece was used for the game of tablets in the Middle Ages. Funeral Ring with the Eye of the Deceased This unique Victorian ring, created in the late 19th century, has the unusual feature of using the glass eye of the deceased as the centerpiece. Dr. Lindsay Fitzharris says the first artificial eyes appeared in the 15th century and were made of gold with colored enamel trim. By the 16th century, Venetian craftsmen had discovered a new way of making artificial eyes from glass that could be inserted into the eye socket. Although the first glass prostheses were quite rough, uncomfortable, and brittle, the Venetian method was considered the best in the world at that time. By the mid-19th century, craftsmen from the Thuringian region of Germany made a breakthrough by perfecting the glass formula to create artificial eyes that were of better quality. However, in the 1940s, glass gave way to plastic, which was less uncomfortable and more durable. Five Mummies in Peru In Peru, archaeologists have made an amazing discovery. Five mummies that are more than a thousand years old and an ancient staircase estimated to be 5,500 years old. These finds were discovered near the Rimac River in the province of Lima at the archaeological site of La Florida. The mummies are believed to include four children and one adult. The mummies are planned to be removed from the excavation site by the end of 2023 for more detailed study. Archaeologists intend to analyze tissues found in funeral bundles along with mummies. No less interesting is the discovery of an ancient staircase, 5,500 years old. This artifact is a valuable evidence of ancient engineering and architecture of those times. Civilization Rescue Machine Archaeologists from the British Museum have made a surprising discovery in the Iraqi city of Gursu, which they call the advanced technology of the ancient Sumerians. It turns out that the structure, previously thought to be a temple, is actually a water canal built more than 4,000 years ago. Modern researchers have found that this canal was created by the Sumerians as a means of combating drought. Archaeologists describe this ancient structure as a kind of trench for delivering water to the fields. However, this was not just an irrigation structure, but a complex system that researchers call a drought-fighting machine. Architect and ecologist Ebru Torin notes the uniqueness of the find, as such technologies were considered possible only in the 18th century. This design was of great importance as a way to combat the water crisis of the time. The canal structure consisted of two symmetrical mud brick structures. Their length was about 40 meters with 10 meters, and the walls reached a height of 3.5 meters. The discovered device was located on a 19-kilometer-long canal that crossed a body of water, which also allows it to be considered the oldest known bridge in the world. Miner's Shocking Discovery Sometimes miners come across unusual artifacts that can surprise even archaeologists. In 2008, an unusual discovery was made in the Zapadnaya mine in Donetsk, Rostov region at a depth of 900 meters. A wheel imprint was found in sandstones dating back to the Carboniferous period, 360, 300 million years ago. Mining foreman Kosatkin, who worked in the mine, shared photographs of the find. According to him, at the mine, classified as dangerous due to the risk of sudden releases of coal and gas, management banned exploration of the site and ordered work to be accelerated. As a result, another smaller print discovered later was not recovered for study. Kosatkin claimed that the mine, which was closed and flooded in 2009, yielded other amazing finds, including the imprints of giant snakes and possibly winged lizards. He also mentioned other unusual finds in coal mines around the world, including a stone block wall and hieroglyphs. These stories, despite their fantastic nature, make us think about the possibility of the existence of ancient civilizations that we do not yet know about. Such discoveries can open new horizons for archaeology and history, although official science often ignores such evidence, considering it miners' tales. What do you think? Can these mysterious finds really be evidence of ancient civilizations, or are they just coincidences? Write your opinion in the comments. Nazis and Caligula's Boats Once again, debates are flaring up online about the legendary boats of the Roman Emperor Caligula. Researchers claim that the Nazis did not destroy them. These two luxurious Caligula boats, built on Lake Nemi south of Rome, were known for their elaborate decorations, including mosaics, statues, and jewelry. 
After being raised from the bottom in the 1930s, their fate came to a tragic end during World War II. It was long believed that the Nazis destroyed the boats in 1944, but a new book, The Burning of Lake Nemi Boats, offers a different perspective on the events. According to the book, responsibility for the destruction of the boats lies with an American artillery unit that shelled the Lake Nemi area during the battles in Italy. The museum's caretaker claimed that the fire that destroyed the boats was not related to the shelling and blamed the Germans for burning the boats as an act of revenge. However, the authors of the book claim that four American shells pierced the roof of the museum, which led to a fire that broke out two hours after the shelling. This conclusion is supported by the fact that other wooden buildings that were bombed also burned down during this period. Until this time, the U.S. military tried to hide its participation in the destruction of valuable historical artifacts. Caligula's boats represented unique evidence of the naval architecture and construction technologies of antiquity. Leave your kind comments under the video and see you in the next video with a new selection of archaeological finds. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone.